being timeless. Where people think about anti-aging or always being useful. Why be any of those? Because those words are related to the belief in time, the concept of time. See, it, so that's why, you know, yes, there are clocks and watches and this sort of thing, but this is a system that is set up. And as I, in a sense, how I call this the cause and effect time dream machine, in a sense. So, when you're timeless, you observe what's going on, and you do not alter your, your, who you are because of age. Uh, and that is, and it's, this is, is the culture, the, the, the group of humanity, all the crowd that is controlled in the sense, moving in that same direction, is all this physicality of what you look like and what you have and, and, and this whole this appearance thing. And then when the person believes that, then they suffer because they're not as useful as they were before and no one looks at them the way they looked before. And, and we realize, well, yeah, you got an opportunity here to become um, self-satisfied, to, to actually really attain the love paradise that you have longed for, which was never out there in anyone or anything else. In being timeless, what happened is any kind of a programming, any kind of a belief system, any kind of hypnotic trance of, of any kind is only effective when we're unconscious. When we're conscious, we are aware, alert, present, all of this. We're not living in the mind, nor are we believing the thoughts that run through the mind or allow those thoughts to control our emotions, our actions, or anything like that. Now this is what takes courage because it's not accepted out there because this is how a, 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 this programming works is you get the more people that do it, the more people will do it because they go along just to get along and they don't even know why they're doing it. But they just, everybody does this and we know this. That's why you have to step out from the crowd. And, and that means to have, to, to, to that's what real self-love, so to me when I say love myself, I would think of my, the God presence, my, my divine beloved, my partner. And, I know. I always thought, you know, when you get there, you get in that feeling that comes. It's beyond description. It's a, in the sense of knowing and being. And the right use of the game of called time or the concept of time is to make that commitment you have to yourself. Because if you do not have a commitment to yourself, how do you have one to anyone else, or could you? And it's not about being that, what do they call it, selfish or self-centered. They, they, they're, they're, they make that word wrong or bad, and, and, and it is and it isn't. No, when you're timeless, You're beyond birth and death. And what is it that people fear dying? Losing it all, letting it go, all these people are gone, the stuff, my thing, the cat, the dog, the things, my, you know, all the body. And let me just, you know, keep it going a little bit longer. Why? Because of the fear the not, that, that this is all there is. So how do we ever know the truth about ourselves by experiencing it unless we do this now? And now is beyond time. No program can run then because you're not living from the thoughts 
or the beliefs or the concepts or the fears or the threats or whatever it may be coming from the mind. And there is such overwhelming evidence always to just take you away from yourself. To believe all of that and then to conjure it up. And to create it, to the, make the illusion of it. Yes. That's who you are. Empower yourself, not the illusion. You say, well, empowerment means I'll have this, I'll lord it over others. You don't know. You, you don't get it yet. Because it's the real pleasure of the soul. The soul. And that's not something you attain. It's who you are. And it comes from being timeless, 